Guys, listen, so here we are, we're at the Master Closer Seminar. Where I'm walking is down here in my conference room, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. We ain't even got in yet, guys. What the hell is going on? Come on. Hey, is this real? Is this real? Hey! had a sales meeting like that at their work that's a crazy ass sales meeting hey hey number one that's badass you got some good management that's awesome hey guys that's a freaking sales meeting number one if you're ever a GM manager even just a salesperson in your store can you run a sales meeting like that yeah that's it I want you guys to remember that for the rest of your life okay you want to own a freaking team you really one day want to do big things, make millions of dollars, be a GM, run a store, literally do everything that I'm doing with you guys and you do it for your team, right? Yeah. Make your sales meetings like this. Put on a show that's worth remembering. Remember I said that, okay? Is this fun? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, this is fun. This is life, man. Life is great. So as we go to get started today, right? It's real important. Everybody's got little notebooks real quick. You're seeing Master Closer Seminar books, right? Open them up. Tell me what you see. You see empty pages. There you go. You see empty pages. You're like, Andy, why do I see empty pages? Let me tell you why you see empty pages. Because what you write, you'll retain. If I was to take, you notice how I wrote all these objections up here, and I wrote all these objections up here. Why didn't I write them up there instead of just having a company print them and put them in your book? So we because it. That's right, if you don't write it down, you're not gonna remember it. You know how I know that? Because I'm a salesman. Straight up, 90% of what's re, of written will be retained. Think about it. Whatever you write today, you will remember. If when you leave, okay, if when you leave, your notebook looks like this. I know you were here, okay? When I go in to close a deal and I come out and I show you the backside of my sheet and my worksheet and it looks like this, guess what? I worked, it's my roadmap. You know how I collected the money, am I right? right? You ever seen a salesman come out? Maybe this is you, which is cool, right? It's not about who you are, it's about who you're becoming. It's not the skill you came with, it's the skill you go home with, am I right? right. Guess what? This is a blank piece of paper Guy says the payment's 600 a month, you got a 350 commitment and there's nothing written on the piece of paper. You think there was any closing really being done? No, no ways, man. You're an order taker and you're a tour guide, okay? You're a salesman at best, but you're definitely not a closer or a master closer. So my goal is, number one, on the back side of lunch, right? On the flip side, which means after we eat, I'm gonna teach you guys how to negotiate and close. We're going to run through every single obstacle you could possibly get on a pencil. Cool? So you guys will be so familiar with it, I'm going to teach you to envision the negotiation in advance, which means this. Your manager's job is to make you money, right? But if you're scared and they don't think that you know how to make money, what will they do? They'll pencil you weak. Okay? Kevin Martin right here, right? I know his management. I know his managers. I've trained them. I've trained with them. Guys, you know what they do? Now that they know he's, he's not afraid and he's ready, they pencil him for all the money, right? You just told me you made how big of a deal the other day? Thursday, we did the Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Now hold on. Man, guys, come on. Listen, if some of you guys are like, 19 pounder? It's kind of got a little beautiful little saying to it, doesn't it? Here's my point. You think that'll reflect on the paycheck? Ask his wife. <laughs> She's like, hey, that must have been a 19 pounder because that was nice, right? I was just talking to him, right? How long have you been selling for? Uh, four months. Four months. I've worked with his managers for a long time. I train him three to four times a, week, uh, a month in his company, right? Because he's a local guy, right? With the Seth Wadley group. How big was your deal on Saturday? 11.9. 11-9, $12,000 deal, man. Listen, I want you to understand this. Some of you guys in here are paid off of units. Some of you are paid off of gross. I don't care how you're paid. 
You know what I want you to understand? Is that if you can take a dollar and turn it into 10, you're worth a lot of money, am I right? Yeah. Any company in the world right now will be, will be willing to pay you endless amounts of money. Tane owns a dealer, right? He owns a dealership. Tane, I'm gonna ask you a question. If a guy can come in and you can give him one dollar and he can make it into 10, will you pay him as much as he wants? Oh yeah. You'll say, hey, here's my checkbook. What do I need to write it for? And that's what I want you guys to know. Because here's the difference, right? And that's why I'm talking about today. I wrote this up here. The psychology of selling is the lost art of the car business. It's the lost art. Today we're gonna be talking about constantly objection handling. Okay, I know that all four, four of you, right, work together, is that right? All four of them work together. They don't sell cars, but they're on the phone all day long, okay? What happens when you can't overcome an objection on the phone? Click. Click. And then what happens? No sell, no salesman gets to eat. They got massive pressure on them, am I right? right. And guess what, it's not just because you wanna win, it's because the whole store relies on them. Man, today they're gonna go back home different people. It's amazing. This is the one thing that the car business has never seen ever. This isn't the car business. This is like a different world, a different deal. But I want you to take and steal everything today and take it back home with you, okay? Everything. But the psychology of selling is one thing. What does that mean? Today, you learn how to become a great salesperson. But what's the one thing that kills every great salesperson? Their mind, okay? Notice this, the psychology of savagery. You say, Andy, what the hell is savagery? Did we just make that up? No. Nope. You know what savage is, right? Savage is a person that's not like everyone else. He's the one percenter. It's another word for that. It's savage. What does savagery mean? It means this. When I was a sales guy, yeah, I was extremely skilled. I was very good, and I earned that, and I worked for it. But you know what else I did? I got in people's heads. You know what I wanted to do? Think about this. I was around competition all the time that was better than me. They were better than me. So what did I do? Did I, did I act weak? Oh, I'm not as good as them. You know, hopefully I'll just keep working hard and one day I'll be better than them. No, you know what I said? No, nah, man, I'm going to own their headspace. I may not be better than them yet, but I'm going to own them here. So you know what would happen? Every day they'd come into the store and they'd be working. And you know what they would see me doing? Training. Training, training. What happens right now if you want to be an athlete, right? And you're not as good as the other athletes, what do you do? Train. You train, you find out what time they're going to the gym. Am I right? Yep. Hey man, this guy's better than me. What time's he going to the gym? From eight to 10. You know where I'm at from eight to 10? At the gym. At the gym, running, working out. And he's watching me, he's like, man, this, this, guy is, this guy's really, and by the way, I'm working out so hard I'm puking in front of him. And he's like, guy's a little sick in the head. <laughs> Guess what you're doing? You're starting to own him here. He's leaving thinking about you, okay? Baby, thank you so much. You're amazing. My amazing wife. Everybody, can we give a round of applause to my wife? <laughs> this you so 